We have an LOV with a bad door track, rear door track. We're going to show you how to replace it. Okay, this is why we're replacing it. If you see right up in here, we just this track has worn a bad spot in here. It keeps getting hung up, so we got to replace that door track. This is, uh, you got to release the spring. So just twist this, hold the door, twist the spring, allow some slack on that cable. your spring. Here's this cotter pin you got to take out. And this should come down. Then on this side there's a cotter pin too. Take it out. And then the whole spring will come down. Now at this point you got to be a little bit careful because there's no spring holding this door up. If you go to close this door it's just going to slam all the way down. Up in the corner there's a brace you have to take this. You have to take these bumpers. You've got to take the door down this way. One over here. Now to remove the door it has to come up and kind of fold out as you take it. Like everything else on an LLV, everything's riveted together. This track has got several rivets all along it. We've got to take those out. Easiest way I find is with the chisel. And there's two that you have to cut off on each side above the cargo light. On the front edge of the track there's one 7 16th bolt and nut holding that end of the track to the bracket. When you go to rivet this track back in place, I suggest you use the uh, quarter by three-eighths top rivet because of the head that's on it. If you look inside the track when I put this rivet in there, there's like a notch in there where the rivet has to set and if you use a rivet with a bigger head on it, it won't set inside that notch and then the door will actually rub on it when it comes down. Hopefully you can see that little ridge in there. It's not much, but it, the rivet has to set down inside that little ridge. To reinstall the track, I would suggest you put it in place and because there are so many rivets involved, start all your rivets so that you get them all lined up all the way across and then on the front, that is not a rivet, there's a bolt up there. So start that so you can get all your lined up. Now where the cargo light is, you'll notice there are no holes drilled in the track. So after you get everything else riveted up, drill one hole and rivet it and then just drill another hole and rivet it. So we just use an air rivet gun.
Rivets are pretty unforgiving. They don't have much play. That's why I suggest you get them all started first before you rivet them in. Punch. Above the cargo light, you'll have to drill holes, so use a center punch to start where you're going to drill. After you've marked it with the center punch, just drill holes. You don't need to worry. You don't need to worry about trying to line up to the existing holes. Just make new holes for your new rivets. After you've got that done, then just go up to the front, put your nuts on, and tighten down those bolts for the front, and then you're done with the track. Okay, in order to install the spring, put your door all the way down in the down position and then turn your spring, put your cable over the top and then turn your spring towards you enough times in order to put enough tension on that. You're probably going to have to turn it 15, 20 times. I really didn't count just until if it's not enough, you can always turn it some more. Place your cable over the top. Hook your cable in that little hole. It's a pretty tight fit. Once you get your cable in that hole, then you can release the spring. And then it should be able to roll up. The purpose of that spring is to help lift the door, but also to keep it from crashing down. When you... So you'll just have to work with it a few times until you get it just right as far as the tension goes. Then the last thing to do... ...is to reinstall the bumpers to keep the door from coming up too far. Put them in place with two bolts, and you're done. You're on the right track.